Okay, welcome back to the Kali Linux Beginner Series. We're going to look at part two of our lab. This is the lab number one, part two, monitoring. So we've already gone through and looked at our IP address, the 192.168.1 network, and we switched it around and we switched it back. Now we're going to look at monitoring, monitoring your interface for traffic from another student during a ping. So we're going to need two computers for this. I'm actually going to do it on one computer, so I'm just going to do it on my own. We're going to start TCP dump on the target computer in two different ways. One is the dash double N, if you look right down here, and the other is without the dash double N. So, and then we're going to start ping from the source computer. We'll do that two times, we just let it run. So up here, I'll go ahead and we'll run TCP dump dash NN dash I ETH zero host 192.168.1.1. Once again, I am using my gateway, so I'm, I'm only using the gateway there because I don't have another computer with me that I can use. So now I'm going to ping the gateway there, ping 192.168.1.1. Now when I ping, we should see, and there they are, ICMP echo request and echo reply. So you see the echo request and echo reply come up on the screen. And I'll go ahead and cancel that. So we did that part. We can see it coming across. Let's take off the double N and see what happens with the I. Oh, wrong window there. Let me open my other terminal window. Cancel that. And I'm going to take off that NN. So up here you can see we got 192.1.1.67. So we can see the 192.168.1.1.67 and uh, you can see over here dot .68. Oh well we get dot .109 right there. Uh, well no, not dot .109, that's me, that's my IP, never mind that. Uh, but you can see in the last octet there, we have, we have something more, we have a fifth octet. That fifth octet actually is not a fifth octet. That is the port that it's recording. So the 192.168.1.1 are the first four octets, one, two, three, and four. And then the 67 is the port to which we're connecting or from which it connected. So we're gonna take this off and we're gonna press enter. So now we took off the double N and while we watch it, we'll see that some things come up here. We see domain come up, boot PS, and I'm going to go ahead and start a ping. And with a ping, we can look over and we'll start seal, still seeing the ICMP echo request and echo reply. So the difference between the double N and not having the double N, we have it like right here, is the double N says do not resolve names and do not resolve port numbers to services. The no double N says yes, resolve the names of the computers and resolve the ports to the services. Now normally, I don't want to resolve my ports to services. I want to see the actual port number, but eh, that may depend on your situation. Okay, next one down. Let's look at uh, what a TCP scan uh, brings up on your screen when you do that. So we're gonna do a couple things. TCP dump, I'm gonna do the same command I did last time over here. I'm gonna look at my gateway. And then I'm gonna do an nmap scan. And we can see we've got the nmap with just dash n in the address. So we'll try that first. nmap, 192.168. And I should be, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a super user here. nmap, dash n, 192.168.1.1. It'll take a second to bring it up. And while that's running, let's pop over and see if TCP dump is capturing anything. See all of these ports that are scrambling up my screen. So you see a 2043 and 49, 58, and 1024 and 6669, all these ports that are coming up. And the reason those ports are scrolling up the screen is because Nmap is scanning that address. So as it scans the address, you can see all the ports scan up the stream. They'll stream up the screen. I went cancel it because I don't want to wait for that nmap to finish. Now I'm going to leave this running so I can monitor this. And now I'm going to do just 21, 22, 23, 80, 443, and 3389. 
Now, when I say this, the dash P, and 21 through 3389, I'm telling you individual ports to scan. So let's go ahead and do that. That's my monitor, that's TCP dump. And over here, we'll go ahead and tell it dash P, 21, comma, 22, comma, 23, comma, oh, anything, 80, 443, 3389, like that. Then we'll press enter. Now when we look over, we should see port 80, 3389, there's 443 that I'm trying to get to in 192.168.1.1, there's 3389, etc. Now let's look at our results, and we can see that there were two ports open. They have HTTP and Telnet are open on the gateway. Next step is we're going to perform an UDP scan on my gateway. So we're going to do the nmap n because I don't want it to try to resolve names. It's a private network and we do not have names to find. Dash S capital U, which is going to signify UDP. Dash P 53 for port 53. And if you remember, port 53 UDP is what we usually use for DNS. And then 192.168.1.1. So over here, port 53. Dash S capital U for UDP scan. Now when I scan that, you'll see that it comes back open. Now if I scan somebody else, like let's say my computer on this, you'll see it comes back closed. So it shows that UDP is open there and UDP is closed there. Sometimes it may come back and just say filtered. So you have to watch for that too. And over here is scan and monitor your interface. What we just did for the UDP scan. So let's bring up a monitor so we can see what it looks like when we scan that box for UDP. And proto UDP. And it says, no way. Let's see if it does it that way. There we go, capital UDP works. All right, so now I'm just looking at UDP traffic. I'm going to scan over there and we should see, there it is, port 53, went in that scan and it comes up on the screen. So we can see that scan taking place. And that's all there is for number 13 there. So what was the difference in the output? We saw the difference in the output. One was open and the other was closed. Now with which services are the following ports associated? Well, 21 is FTP, 22 is SSH, 23 is Telnet, 53 UDP is DNS, 80 TCP is HTTP, 443 TCP is HTTPS, and 3389 TCP is Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol, or what you'll see in terminal services. A quick way to find this is we can just grep one of the ports in Etsy services, and you can get a bunch of information about the port, There's FTP, or we can cat Etsy services, and then grep for a port. Now not all ports, and there's Telnet right there, not all ports are in here, so let's look at 3389, this one probably will be. And it's not. 3389 wasn't listed in Etsy services. That's one of the Microsoft ports for Microsoft Remote Desktop. If you don't know what the port is and you want to find out, then you may want to go on Google and just Google it. All right, that concludes part two. Our next video will be on part three.